Welcome to learning at igcseaccounts.com. If we can guide you towards our website at www.igcseaccounts.com, you will find the notes that go along with this video tutorial. The easiest way to download it is to right click on the notes click here button and save it as a PDF to your desktop. You should find this much quicker than waiting for it to load up on your web browser. My name is Dino Hoss and today we will be looking at the accounting concept of matching or accruals. This concept suggests that you should always match the expense or the revenue to the year in which it actually occurs. Looking here at the matching concept we can see that a company that sells toy trains and has sold $10,000 worth toy trains during the year, would be able to calculate its gross profit by minusing or deducting how much it actually paid for the toy trains that it purchased from its supplier. In this example, it would have paid $6,000, which when we minus from our sales revenue of $10,000 would leave us with a gross profit of $4,000. So the accounting rule or concept of matching would need to be applied when we are deciding how much rent to actually put into our final account to calculate the correct net profit. This particular firm has paid between January and March $300, between April and June another $300 and between July and September $300. However, it made no payments between October to December. If the accountant is to apply the rule of matching, they will need to know how much rent should have been paid during year one. Well, in this example, the firm should have paid $1,200. However, it has only paid $300 between January and March another $300 between April and June, and between July and September, a further $300. No payment is made in December, so when deciding how much rent should be charged in the profit and loss account, a minus from the gross profits to get the correct final net profit figure, the accounting rule of matching suggests that you should include the $1,200 as the expense, even though there has not been a full payment between October and December for the final $300. $1,200, of course, was the amount that we should have paid, and that is the figure that we would put into our expenses account of rent and we would deduct from the gross profit of $4,000 to give us the corrected final net profit figure. So how does this relate to matching, you might ask? Well, effectively, we have matched the final $300 to the year in which it occurred. Even though we haven't paid the $300, we would still include the $300 in our expenses as rent of $1,200 in total to give us the final net profit figure of $2,800. Of course, had we not matched the payment regardless of whether it had been paid or not, then the profit would have been overstated, in other words, too much, and we would have been breaking the accounting principle of reliability which suggests the final account should be free from bias and should be free from error. Thanks for listening. Remember, if you're studying A-level accounts, you can find past papers, answers and handouts at our sister website, www.alevelaccounts.weebly.com. If you found this tutorial useful, then please do wait for the next tutorial to load up on the playlist.